He and I. Good morning, Bowger, Miss Bosses. How was the trip today? Good morning, Lucy. How are going our preparatives? Well, not too much good. We need to place some set background and more settles, but we will complete it soon. The theater is little and we need to gain more space. It's okay, remember to smile. It helps to relax more and also actors will feel better. Okay, I'm going in my hotel. Let's see you later. Bye. See you later. Good morning. I'm Gabriel Bossus. Where is my room? I'll stay just two days. Morning, Miss Gabriel. I see you, madam, in great shape. Oh, wait. But you are the famous Gabriel Bossus? The famous actress and writer, playwright? Sure. I'm Gabriel Bossus. Oh, I heard a lot to speak about you. I heard you have some great shows that everyone appreciates. Thank you, but the success is due to the Lord, not thanks to me. He guided me to write good stories. That's why people love it. They have a moral, indeed. Sure. I think, your name will be remembered for a long time. Oh, you are too kind, thank you. But I did nothing special. Please, let me show you your room. Thank you. Oh, I'm very tired. I will rest a little till tomorrow. My dear Gabriel. My dear Jesus, so, you was following me? You know that I'm always with you. You don't believe me? Give yourself a rest from saying prayers, so, that you may enjoy my love. Sometimes, you doubt, that it is I speaking to you. It all seems so simple, so like yourself. But aren't we one? Yes, we are one. You are always with me, even if I heard only your voice, Jesus. I know, that my mission is to record and publish what I heard, this way, people might know, that the life of intimacy with you, Jesus, is not reserved for those in cloisters, but for every man, woman and child, no matter what his state in life might be. Take care in setting down my words, so that what springs from my heart may be light and joy easy to capture. Each soul is my favorite. I choose some, only to reach the others. Since it was published the first volume of Dialogues, he and I, I wanted to do it anonymously, because I don't want any fame about me. One day, at the right time, after your death, our Dialogues will be published and will be presented to the world, but until then, you will keep to write every day, every time I will speak to you. Be assured, by my loving kindness, that as others are blessed by these words, your cup of joy will overflow in the same proportion. Every reader too will receive the same measure of grace. And all will become members, of one united family, the family of my intimate friends. Thank you, Lord. So few people are aware that you are always present with each of us. Few people are aware that you are inside each soul of us. Suffer with us. A presence. Do you know what a presence is? Then live in my presence, wherever you go. Good morning, my Lord Jesus. I am ready to go to the rare SARS. Good morning, my dear Gabriel. Right. I don't want people to be afraid of me anymore. But to see my heart full of love and to speak with me as they would with a dearly beloved brother. For some I am unknown. For others, a stranger, a severe master or an accuser. Few people come to me as to one of a loved family. And yet, my love is there, waiting for them. My Jesus, please. Don't be sad. I will write everything so that more people will know it. Oh my lord, my home, is always your... Tell me that often. It is, heartwarming for me. Give this joy to your lord God, 
little child of his. Tell me all about your desire for me, and I'll make it grow. Even if you don't desire me, tell me, so, I'll give you the desire. And I'll make it increase to the point to where you want to possess me and to be possessed by me. Good morning, madam. Good morning. I've come here, because I heard you was in this hotel. Miss Bosses. I would like to invite you to a piano concert. Please, say yes. Really? Thank you, of course I'll come. When is it? It will be tonight. Okay. After the theater rehearsals I will come. See you later. Thanks. See you later. I think you did a good job. Everything is settled perfectly. It was a bit hard because this place was not so big, but at the end, we make it. I'm so relieved. Lately I feel so depressed. Everything goes wrong, everyone seems don't understand me. I feel like I'm suffering very much. I'm sorry to hear that. What happened? I don't know what happening. But every day, I have a dispute with my husband, then, at works with my colleagues, they seems never understand me. I'm so tired. Oh, you should not expect too much. Be patient with them. Take it easy. You are always with that smile. How can you feel happy? I feel happy, because someone teach me to never complain. I take my cross every day and I go on. I try to forget and forgive. But you live alone. So you should be feel alone. That's logic. Well, I don't feel alone. I bet you say you have God and you not feel alone, right? Yeah. Come on. Um. Indeed. Oh, okay, okay. I understand. I wish I would always be so joyful of life, like you. I admire you. You can be joyful you too, if you want. But how? I've tried. But I feel like I still miss, something. I have everything, a job, a husband, a beautiful home, beautiful children. But yet, it seems my life, somehow, is still incomplete. Maybe you just need to accept that it's pretty normal to have bad days between good days. If we think we should always be happy, this is an illusion. This life isn't the time of being happy. We should not be happy. It's wrong to be always be happy. Well, it's good to be always happy, but this world it's not yet the time to be happy. And what time is it then? The time of battle. So, the time of love. The time of battle. The time of love. I don't understand. Love is a battle, and the battle is for the love. Remember, the most you don't consider yourself, the less you will suffer. Don't consider yourself. Consider the love. The love. And husband? A fiancé? I'm not speaking of people. I am speaking about the love. But love is a feeling. Love isn't just a feeling. Is love that gives us feelings. Love is a presence. Indeed, love is God. I. I think I don't understand. But thanks for saying so. It sounds interesting. But don't help me. Of course, can help you. Because you don't really, indeed know the love. If you don't know, how can you love the love? You are loved. More than you can image. I don't understand, but I feel relieved when I speak to you. Thank you, now it's time for me to go home. Thanks Gabriel. I feel better now. Good evening, Miss Busses. Good evening. I saw her invitation to the concert of tonight. Please this way. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. Good evening. You are here too? I'm so glad to see you here. Yes. I was invited. I'm sure you will enjoy tonight's concert. Arlene is a superb pianist. 
I have no doubts about it. It's great to relax sometimes and listening piano music. Good evening. I'm glad everyone comes here. Tonight I'll play one of my favorite music. Enjoy. Priva, our lead. Priva. Very good. Yes, that's right. I suddenly hear that beat. My dear Gabriel, it's me. My lord. You are here. I heard you was talking to me while listening the concert. During the concert of classical music, I was offering you garlands of sounds and all the fragrance flowing from them. My little girl. The piano was being used as an altar, and I was thinking of the seagulls and airplanes that sometimes alighted on the great liners. This time it is the Christ. You know that everything is for you? So I don't say so. You must tell me all the same, because I love to hear it. Tell me often. When you know that someone loves you it makes you happy when he tells you so. Arlene, you are splendid tonight. I'm glad I was here. Gabriel, it is an honor for me. More than for you. Thanks for coming. You know, when I played piano tonight, it feels different than from other past concerts. It was like I feel, I don't know, like a blessing. Maybe you feel a strange happiness in your heart? Yes. It was like I was moving my hand without thinking about it. Maybe. I know what you mean. So, you believe me? Of course I believe you. Because I know what it was. So, someone was next to me? We are never alone. He is with us. He? He sometimes want to make our acts with him. If we unite to him with the divine will, we can make every act together him. I don't understand. We can calling on the divine will with the actual act and prevenient act at the beginning of each day, act, which must be supported by the intention and action so that one may begin to live life in the divine will. The divine will. So. So you are talking about Jesus. Jesus Christ? Yes, dear Arlene. You can play all the times in the divine will. With him. How do you know all these things? Gabriel? Some time ago, I heard about Louisa P. Coretta's book. Called the Book of Heaven. The Book of Heaven? Louisa P. Coretta? Have you ever heard about Louisa? No, never. But, you know, I want to search this book. I want to understand. But, you also said that he was next to me. How do you know? You can see him? Dear Arlene, nobody can tell you but only you. You have to read the book, nobody can explain it. But, when someone heard about the divine will, it's already a sign that the Lord wants you know about it. Really? Jesus? Is it you? Right? 
There is your work on earth. Teach it to others and you will make me loved. Do you understand? Yes, everything is for you. This is your daily work. You know that I am helping you. I like you to be able to recognize me even though you are blindfolded. What happiness it gives me when you say it is he. You must tell me that often. It is, heartwarming for me. Give this joy to your Lord God, little child of his. Tell me all about your desire for me, and I'll make it grow. Even if you don't desire me, tell me, so I'll give you the desire. And I'll make it increase to the point where you want to possess me and to be possessed by me. You will ask them. I seldom ask. I wait. You be my apostle and bring them to me. All of them. If they will just take a few steps, I'll go all the rest of the way. Write to all people. That will read your book, that what I'm saying to you, it's for every in age of who is reading these words. Even right now, I'm really tell you this, in the past, to you, but it's in the present of each one will read it. My Lord. It's for everyone and in any time. I'm God. And for God, there's no past or future. I am the present only. All I've done in the past, it's for the present. All the future, it's for the present. Only present exist in front of me. Tell them. Tell to all of people that will read your writings, that this is for you WLL that are reading now. Yes. Jesus, I will do. Faith is my actual presence in you. Faith in the love that is leading. When you are very sure of the love living in you. What a change in your life, my child. What a great thing I can see. Do you remember when you were little how you wrote in an exercise book? Oh, yes. You told me, speak, Lord for thy servant hurried. Oh, I remember that, but at those times, I could not really speak to you. Now you can talk to me every time. It's always like the first time to me. It's always like the first time to me as well. Every word the creature says to the Creator, it always make me happy. Lord, why you choose me, to show yourself? I just choose you not because I have some preferences. But I need to speak to someone sometimes, so that can be spread my words. Remember, you all are important to me. I will do my best to spread your messages. I will write everything in my book, he and I. Thank you, my child. What? Always the same problem. Always. Always. There's no one single time that this train is on time. I can't stand. I can't stand anymore. I wake up at the 6 a.m. of morning, just to make all the things in time. Just to don't miss the train. Sorry to see so sad, mister. And. The train is always late. Always. Always late. I can't stand. I feel so angry that I would scream. I'm sure the train will be here soon. Please, stay calm. Stay calm. How I should stay calm. I'm so angry. To be angry is not what love wished for us. Pardon? Just take a long breath and do a big smile. It's easy. Come on. Shut up, old lady. Oh. I don't think this is the way you should talk to me. I talks right as I prefer and wish. Now, do me a favor. Shut up. Well, of course. I will not talk to you anymore, if you prefer. Oh, finally. Now I feel happy, since you have stopped to speak to me. Here we meet again. Unfortunately, this was the only seat available. Sorry, can you left this wagon and go to another seat? I'm so angry. I want people to shut up. 
Gabriel. Please listen to me. I feel like I want to be angry at him. Gabriel, please take the little daily trials with a smile and you will dress my wounds. I was tempted to be sharp with a traveler who was sharp with me. The more Christian one is, that is, the more one is mine, the kinder one is. So you'd be the kindest of all women. Forgive me. Tomorrow I will go back at my home. It's better to go to hotel and rest a little. It's our home, not your home. We are one. Remember? Forgive me, Lord. Yes, our home. What a beautiful night. I know you are here with me. Lord, thank you for this calm night. Have a safe travel, Miss Bosses. Thank you, Orlean. It was a brief trip, but I will return here again someday. I hope you will. I wish to see one of your shows. Sure. Take care. Bye. Oh. Please tell him hi. He is here. He knows. So, if he is here, I want to say, thank you. He is with you, every time you talk to him. Even when you suffer, he does not leave you, even if you think he is not there. He is with you, in the same moment, happy or sad. When you are happy, he is happy with you, when you are sad, he is suffering the same way with you. Your life is not separated by him, if you accept him. Even when something hurt you, he is in the cross, and you are in the cross as well. We are all together in the cross. With him. His life is our life. We are not separated, even if you may think like that. He lived our lives, except the sin. He bare the cross for us, but we are in this cross as well, with him. We have to bear the cross as well, just with him. We can't escape the cross. As we are saved by his cross, but in that cross, we have to be crucified with him, always, together, until the end. Even before death, even when we suffer, if we would die without sufferance, he could not save us with his cross. Our sufferance itself don't save us. Our sufferance and his sufferance, then save us. Only this. I think I understand. I will never feel alone anymore, not even in sad times. Right. Always smile, because if you're sad, we'll make Jesus sad as well. Take care, Gabrielle, and take care, Jesus. When I was young, I wanted to help people to feel better. I was a nurse during World War, before I became a playwright and touring artist. I remember in my trips, I still didn't know about him, so I felt lonely sometimes, even if I was rich. I used watching the women who had husbands to help them with their luggages, help them in their little difficulties as they traveled. And I feel like I was all alone. But the voice told me but since I am with you, I didn't realize the Lord was really with me. During early days, I often heard a voice that often speak to me, but I didn't want to accept it. Maybe I was worried it was all in my fantasy. A few times in my youth, I was surprised by a mysterious voice that left me hesitant, but not being sure, I paid no attention to it. I'm finally at home.
Gabriel. Lord, speak, I'm listening you. It was a long trip. I saw so many beautiful places, thank you for giving me opportunity to travel. I let you trip to testimony of me. But one day, you will not trip anymore. You know the difference between a solitary voyage and a voyage with companion? Well, when you have given me the joy and honor of sharing everything with my all-loving presence, your being will be, as it were, enfolded in another being. Mine. If I were only sure of comforting you, of giving you pleasure in doing this or that, such a thought would increase my strength tenfold. Gabriel. If what my children do for me or say to me is the kind of thing that would give joy to an ordinary man, it gives me far greater joy, for I am the most sensitive, the most loving and the most gentle. I know. But sometimes, I'm not able to be kind with people that really gives me hard times. I promise you to be good, but it's always the same. When I get angry, I am not kind with others anymore. I know you even before you fail. So I know your usual faults. Of course you have to try to become good. But do efforts for make me happy, not to satisfy yourself. If you have failed in something, you say my dear all, I could have been more faithful today. Forgive me. You humble yourself most sincerely. And without knowing it, I press you to my heart burning with love. That is what you call grace, and my grace is sufficient for you. Do you believe that? Ask me to be your goodwill, since you know that without me you can nothing. You can't even pronounce my name with love without my help, my poor little child. Don't get the idea that you are speaking to a memory, a past ideal, a remote god. You are speaking to a me, fully alive in you. To your ever-present presence. And when you speak to me or my mother, speak with a loving smile. It's like a family life. You see, what I'm always seeking in my people is this life on intimacy with me. Yes, you are. You are my great and beautiful love. Then talks to me in love's simple language. Warm your heart and seek to warm mine, just as though you were afraid that I was not tender enough, and by calling me gently, you would arouse my love. And this would really be to lure me to my task. Bliss is yours if you believe this. This is because I love you. And it's the same for everyone, since I love each of you individually. I see you all differently. I see every detail about you, do you understand? My love is not of global love. I need each one of you. As though you were the only person in the world. As though the cosmos had been created for you, all alone. And my love is greater than the cosmos. So let this thought be a strength to you in your smiling calm. Let us include my mother in this life of ours. Do you really believe that her love is active on your behalf? My little girl, have faith in the great things that you can do with us. Without us. But you are already aware of your nothingness. Lord, who will teach me what words should I use and how to thank you? The most simple. Straight from your heart. Say them to me at Mass, say them again after your communion, when we are only one. Once more it will be I who give them to you. How I love to act for myself and you. Can you believe that? Lord, I should so love to live your words, and I am always myself, still my old self. Is it so difficult to think of your Lord? Is it so difficult to talk with him and to keep him company? My child. 
It's a God who is waiting at the door of your heart. A God who is all yours and who is in you. You open to him when you talk to him, when you look at him. Don't think that this is a fable I am telling you. It is the simple reality. Thank you for guide us to know all these things. Now you can go to sleep. But keep me in your heart. Even if you sleep. Gabriel. I'm glad I've found you. I would like to buy some geraniums for my garden. I wish I was so calm to buy flowers as well. But there is no good news. What's happened? Haven't read the newspaper today. To be honest, I never read newspapers. Oh, Gabriel. So you don't know what I should know? Please tell me. The war. War? Are you sure? Sodders are coming. German troops cross the Polish border. It is the beginning of the Second World War. The Second War. Again. What will happen? The newspaper Le Matin announces the declaration of war by France and England on Nazi Germany. Don't worry. We will do our best. Now, let's go to home. We will talk by phone only. Stay at home, okay? Okay. Be careful, Gabriel. Take care. Take care. Stay strong, my friend. My God, I'm scared. Gabriel, come here. I think I will stay inside the shop. Bye, Gabriel. Take care of you. I can't believe it's happening for real. Suddenly, this world has become the antechamber of hell. Why it's happening? Why the human's heart is so full of hate? My lord. Calm down, Gabriel. I'm here. I'm so relieved. Lord, another war, again. Are you scared? Fear? Of course, my little girl. It counts for expiation, for your host life, for the co-redemption. Jesus, I don't understand. I myself was afraid in Gethsemane. And what fear. There again we are together, since I wanted to share all your sufferings. Joyously consent to share mine. Do you see my part in your life? It is for this end that I arrange the events of your life. Don't ever think that anything comes by chance. It is always a hand of love itself, in everything. Don't you always recognize my step? Your great friend directing your life. Just think of it. Your daily cross, your nightly cross. Hold it close to your heart, for it comes from me. It's not just any cross. It is yours, the one I wanted you to have. Kiss the hand that gives it to you and go patingly on your way with it. With me. But, Lord. This is not something that make me happy. Remember. I've suffered for all my entire life. And I'm God. I could have never, ever feel sufferance, if I wanted. But I had to do to save you all from death. No all the sufferances of all the human beings, all together, of all the times, could ever save the human race. Only the sufferance of a God, could expiate a sin. Sufferance is for expiation. Your sufferance, your death, is my death. When you suffer, don't expiate alone. You expiate with sufferance, because your sufferance, your life, is my life and I suffer with you, in the cross. 
your cross is my cross. My cross, make your cross, able to save your soul. The cross is salvation. The cross is for love. My love, the love of a God, that wanted to suffer, even if he could and don't deserve to suffer. If I suffered, then you can accept that you have to suffering too. With me. Love can be demonstrated with fact. Who suffer, is the one who love. There's no true love without sufferings. My cross is your cross, and your cross, is my cross. My Lord. One day, I will have to remember this. War. I still can't believe that it's really happening. In our daily lives, many things are taken for granted, but peace between men and countries isn't so granted. Looking back at the images of wars, it seems to have never happened. Yet it really did. Gabriel, don't be afraid. Sorry, I will try to be more calm. I will think that French soldiers are the good angels that Saint Michael should lead to defeat the war. Come what may, remain steadfastly in my heart. Keep your eyes fixed on me as you ask me for advice, or as you tell me that you love me always. Remember that nothing happens without my permission. Be very calm and serene. There is nothing like serenity for convincing people of the good. This was my response to the craftiness of the Pharisees. So, be calm in your soul, and happily docile to my will. Thank you, my lord. Only you can make me smile even in hard times. Yes. Hello? Gabrielle, it's me. How are you? Are you safe? I'm fine. But tired. I'm going to another city. Hitler wants to close all the churches here in France. Hitler? What want from us? He is really an atheist. Yeah. And his dream is to transmit atheism to schools around the world. My child, don't be angry. Lord, I was thinking to the atheism of Hitler. My child, I know you can be disappointed, but... Have you prayed for him? What? Gabrielle? Are you listening me? We must pray for who do the evil. If we don't pray for them, the sinners will make more sinners. As a evil act make more evil acts in the world. And a good act, make more good in the world. Do you know? What do you mean? For the principle of communion of saints. We are all influence each other, so an act of good make good and evil, the word make more evil people. To pray for who do bad act, means to activate an invisible but real power that will make more people act good or repent of their acts one day. I don't understand. I will tell you something very important. What is Jesus' opinion of wicked men? 
Jesus? You mean, Jesus Christ? Yes, my dear. Not many people in the world are aware of this. Have you ever heard about the mystical experiences of Signor Maria Natalia Magdalena? No, indeed, never heard about it. What is it? Signor Maria Natalia tells that not so long ago I watched TV. On the screen a man sent a dog after people who were escaping, and the dog tore them apart. I was shaken by this, that in reality one man can cause such great suffering to another and I wished the dog would tear apart the man who roused it to anger against the other. Then I heard the sad voice of Jesus, those who are tortured by another man and die, receive special graces from me and they will receive from me indescribable happiness throughout eternity. But what happens to him, who committed the evil deed? That man is also my child, I died for him too. And now you are hitting him? The evil he did pains me less than that you strike him, the one whom I love so much. With this blow you hit me. I beg you, do not hurt me. Rather, pray for him, that he may repent, that he may not have to go to eternal damnation, but become one of mine. I'm so confused. But thank you for telling me. I will think about it more. Thank you, Gabriel. I will go in a long trip. I hope I will talk to you soon. Now it's time for me to prepare. Take care, one day you will find everything in my book. He and I goodbye. Goodbye, dear Gabriel. Lord, thank you for all the things you have done for us. It's time for me to go and write. My little child, my dear Gabriel, I'll be always with you, with my only voice. So many memories all my life with you.